Hello, this is a tutorial on how to create a screensaver for the Barnes & Noble Nook. Um, first thing you need to do is you need to get some images. So I'm going out to a Facebook page of someone I'm making uh, a screensaver for, and I am going to save the image as... I'm just going to put it right in here, and we're going to name this one 10. and we are going to save. So, now from there I am going to open it in the GIMP, which is my image editor of choice. You can use whatever image editor you feel like using. This is what I use. Uh, let's go onto the desktop and we're going to say image 10. So, first thing we need to do is we need to resize the image. So if I take the image and I go to scale image, I need this image to be 800 by 600 exactly. And it turns out that the aspect ratio on this is correct so that if I simply just modify the width, the height already matches. Well, that's good. Now I'm also going to take the image and I am going to rotate clockwise 90 degrees. Uh, when I said it has to be 800 by 600, I really meant it needs to be 600 by 800. So it always needs to be a width of 600, height of 800. Um, after that, I am going to go desaturate, and I'm going to pick one of these that I particularly like. I think luminosity, that'll work, that'll look nice. Uh, you don't actually have to do this, but the reason I am is that it, it'll actually end up saving memory um, with the file. So. Let me go, and now that I've changed this image to what I want it, I'm going to say uh, save. And of course, it's getting saved out as a JPEG. I recommend saving it as a JPEG. I also recommend having no compression. Just, just throw that in there. I'm not that worried about saving memory. And uh, there we are. So, what you need to do is you need to do this with as many f uh, f images as you want to be in your screensaver. So in this case, I already did this to nine other images and you'll see this is going to be the contents of my screensaver. Now you just simply put this into a folder and from there you can plug in your Barnes & Noble Nook. So I just plugged it in, you'll you'll see it uh, mountain pop up here in a second hopefully. We'll see if it's working. it again. There we are, the screen in the Nook just flashed, and okay, when you mount the Nook, uh, that's what it's called, it's called mounting it like a drive, uh, it, it just mounts the exact same way as like a USB thumb drive, a mass storage device of any kind. Now you'll see here are some things where you can have uh, other stuff, you know, here's your actual Barnes and Nobles downloads, here's your own documents that you want put on there, music, audiobooks, wallpapers, and screensavers. So, Let's take the screensaver, and I'm going to say, move my the girl's screensaver into this directory. Well, that's all I have to do. Now, I simply have to safely unmount the Nook. It's now disconnected, and now I can go onto there, and I can go into settings, display, screensaver, and there'll be one in there named the girls. Uh, and it'll display those images in this directory. That's all for how to create a screensaver for the Nook.